don't watch this. Don't watch this if you're some crazed, ardent Trump fan who doesn't want to hear any reality. Don't watch this. Change this. Go someplace else. You know where to go. You know the usual. Go listen to Matt Gates. Oh, God. Be careful with that guy. Be careful. I'm telling you. But that's... Nobody cares. Because most people just listen and care about the immediate. They're just having a good time. As long as they think everything's groovy, doesn't matter. Because Americans have you-know-what for brains when it comes to politics for strategy. Okay? They see a rally in Waco or whatever, and they say, that's it. We got it. You've got what? We got it. President Trump, please. The rallies are terrific. I dig it. Start talking like a leader. Every time you speak, every time you're in front of a group, every time you're in front of a crowd, I want you to think you're talking to an undecided, independent, uncommitted, which is nuts, voter. Not the usual. You don't have to play to the crowds. The Republicans. That's it. You're going to take that no matter what. Ignore Ron DeSantis. You can cream him, but not now. He's peaking too early, and he's not doing anything. He doesn't have it. He's great for Florida. Your line should be very simply this. He's fantastic, Governor. Florida needs him. And that's why he should stay exactly where he is, to fulfill his promise to the great voters of the great state of Florida. Do an excellent job, Governor DeSantis. And Governor DeSantis has a lot. Governor DeSantis. Governor, 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 Governor. Stay there. That's your bailiwick. That's where you belong. Lay off this horse face stuff. Don't lose women anymore. This E. Jean Carroll stuff's going to come out. That's going to be nasty. All right? You know this. I know this. Anybody, they're going to Weinstein him. Absolutely. They're, they're telling you. A federal judge said, yep, we can have similar fact evidence. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. Wait till you hear this. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You going to say something stupid? Please. E. Jean Carroll. Nah, she's not my type. No! No! No, no, no. Because that implies that... That implies that... The reason why... <laughs> That's like somebody said, Did you kill those people in Atlanta? I've never been to Atlanta. No! Look at this. Now, remember what I'm telling you. Always research. Always, always research. According to NBC News, in June of 25th, uh, Trump, uh, June of 2019, says, uh, Trump said, she's not my type, said of um, a woman who accuses him of sexual assault. So you can't, you can't do this because that means, like, oh, so if she was your type, then sexual abuse is, is possible? Is that it? That's the implication. Don't hand these people anything. Don't give them anything. Don't give these people any room to say anything. What kind of mentality is this? I, what, seriously, wh wh who's advising you? Lay off this horse face. I'm telling you. Don't make fun of women's looks. You need women. You need suburb. You've heard this story before. It's the unforced errors that kill me. You have got to go out and you've got to talk to the country about their dreams. And if you've got to do one thing, one thing, talk about kids, children, and families. Children and families, you can't lose. There is not one person on the planet who says, yeah, more puberty blockers, yeah, more castration, more orchiectomies, more hysterectomies, yeah, that's great. More men and women's sports and do it without making the obvious, you know, low rent, low hanging fruit, uh, you know, joke. 
But that's it. It's there for you. America needs leadership. America can be great again and strong. They will fear us. They're losing their fear of us. Go back to what Reagan said. Go back to what Putin said in 2000. Listen to what these people said. Listen to how they changed. Reagan was coming off after the malaise of Jimmy Carter. Look what he said. Look at what's going on. Use your head. Give me a dream. Paint me a picture. Give me a world view. Ronald Reagan. Signing America. It's morning in America or whatever the heck it is. I mean, it was just beautiful. You, you have the crowd. You could go up. You could show up at any Republican group with a, an actual sock puppet and go, how are you, Mr. Trump? I'm and they'll love it. They'll love it. They'll go crazy. They'll uh, No references to bats, violence, killing, destruction, nothing. Not even an, an expression. I don't understand this. You see, in 2020, see, I lost all my, my Trump friends in 2020 because I was saying, he's going to lose this. He's going to lose this. Look at Georgia. Look what he's doing. Look what he's saying. You don't understand it. That's not... Nobody listen to me. Oh, no, no. Because they see things from their own point of view. See, if they like it, everybody likes it. If they're groovy with it, that's it. What's not to like? Trump is obviously the better candidate. Biden's a decrepit wizened a coot. There's no question here. Let me tell you who's going to be the D uh, Democratic nominee. It's going to be Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom's going to be a killer. A killer. Don't think for one minute that Gavin Newsom, I don't care what you say, but oh, he's got the, the slick and the hair and the, he knows the schmaltz and he knows, he knows everything. He is going to be a killer. And he can go through the routine and the litany, and he can go through this, this drivel, this psychopathic lunacy. He can do this without even batting an eye. He's deadly. But what are you going to do? Trump, maybe? You think the Republican Party is going to be willing to do that? I don't know. Let me explain something to you. I'm a realist. I always told you this. Democrats, I respect them. Oh, they get their stuff done. They are, they, they go out. They solicit votes, they sign people up, they register, they do everything. Not the Republicans. The Republicans, what do they do? They go on Fox News. Jim Jordan, oh, he slams somebody. Oh, they love that word. They love that. Did you hear John, John Kennedy? Should I call you comrade? That was beautiful. Foghorn Langhorn or, or Andy Devine or, or... It's more like a Jerry Clower. Oh, what? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? I've got my friends who were Trump supporters. This just wasn't as great. What do you mean is it great? This doesn't mean anything to the non-Trump vote. Oh, the hell with it. The hell with it. That's what you have to win by pulling people in who are most probably independent, undecided. And what about that rally is going to pull them? People are scared. They're worried about their kids and the weather and infrastructure. I can list 10, 15, 20 things people are worried about. That's what you should address. And have people leading thinking, damn, I never knew there were that many problems. You know, he's right. You know, that Trump is good. He said exactly what I was thinking. He said exactly what I was thinking. And nobody's ever said, did you hear that line about horse face? That was great. I want to vote for him. Why? Because he called the porn trollop horse face and made <sighs> this sanctimonious. I love this guy. I'm going to vote for him. No. And you got a bunch of people in the, in the Republican Party who are, who are rats. They'll stab you in the back. And they're not crazy about DeSantis. They just hate you because what Trump does is he threatens everybody. Remember, the left-right paradigm is an illusion. Two sides of the same coin. And what Trump does, he comes along and he just, I mean, he's brilliant. So listen to what I say at your peril. Let me rephrase that. Listen, to, don't listen to what I say.
at your peril. Okay, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and please, I want to see your thoughts and comments. Comment as you see fit.